include everything. Hey guys, we're back in Free Code Camp. We are on Forest Fire Dancing. We'll be doing a lot of the same stuff. Uh, we now have flags, so let's go ahead and equip that. So this is going to give us this fine flag, which we're going to be able to specify what flag to find by using a string and pick up flag in the same way. So the goal here is to avoid the fireballs. So avoid the fireballs. You can nest an if statement inside another if statement to make more complex choices. So we've been doing that. Um, if the evil stone is on the left, go to the right side. I guess this is the evil stone? So if, if position that... So this is evil stone right here. So if evil stone is on the left, go to the right side. So we'll say um, we want to move X, Y to 46, I guess. 46, 22. Else go left side. Basically, we're moving side to side. So this is 34.22. Else, go to the middle, which is 40.22. So if it's on the left, go to the right. If it's on the right, go to the left. If it's not there at all, go to the middle. Let's see if we did this right. So we're dodging the flames and we're dodging the the evil stone. We want to stay away from the evil stone. <laughs> Very generic name, but it gets the point across. I like it. All right, I think we're probably good here. You also notice that we have these green flags. So see I dropped a flag there uh, those will be more important in upcoming levels cool uh, next up stillness in motion we're gonna be doing using more nested if statements let's go ahead and play this stay in the center to avoid the headhunters kill 15 incoming munchkins so we want to stay where we're at so imagine each if else as a container so if they pass this line attack so if it's a munchkin we want to attack else we don't want to attack anything so creative oh they break it up for us this is very nice so of our enemy so find if there's a nearest enemy if there is an enemy find the distance to the enemy so we'll say var distance is equal to distance to the enemy that we're looking for and then we'll create an if statement here so if distance is less than five go ahead and attack attack that enemy else the enemy is far away than shield do we have shield? Oh, we do. Uh, hero dot shield. So this is probably some sort of defensive thing. Um, that might be our block. Else, then move back to X, which we do. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and submit this and see if it works. You know what? I think we didn't put specifically Munchkin in there. Seems to be working. Pretty straightforward here. Um, 
All right, last, the Agrippa Defense. We're gonna be using a lot of what we've been using before. But now we wanna rid the meadow of the ogres. Don't waste your cleave only on a few enemies. Be smart with the distance too to catch as many as possible. Find the distance, so if there's an enemy, so while true, so basically run this while it's true. If there is an enemy, check to see if there's an enemy, find there's enemy. If they are there, find the distance, so large distance of that enemy. And then again, if distance is less than five, And we'll, we'll combine this in one. And uh, hero dot is ready. Cleave. What we want to do is we want to then have the hero cleave. Forgot one of these bad boys. Uh, else, just attack. I think that should be good. So basically, only cleave when there's a bunch of enemy when enemies go within five distance. Tension. Oh man, I'm barely gonna survive this. I don't think we are gonna survive this. Tension. Oh my god, we barely survived it. I thought we were going to have to upgrade our, our armor there. Um, Alright, cool. So, uh, coming up in the next video, we'll get started on the Village Rover. Um, as always, guys, thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for the comments, and thank you for sharing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and support me on Patreon. Check out wayup.com. It's a great way to find full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs, and one-time freelance work for the college student. All you need is a .edu email. It's completely free, and you'll help me out in the process too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.